Good morning and welcome to morning, uh, not to morning prayer, that's what I say every day, Monday to Thursday. Good morning and welcome to family time. It's great to, to be with you. Thank you for your patience. Oh, with people coming to church now, it means that occasionally I get chatting and of course you chat to one person then chat to another. It's lovely to catch up and all the time I'm thinking I've got to get to family time. So thank you for your patience. Shall we pray as we begin? Dear God, as we gather once more for family time, uh, we are always thankful to you, Lord, for bringing us together, for the technology, for being able to do this, and simply pray that you will bless us. And uh, as we chat, as we, um, as I see comments and everything else, that we will share in your love this day and always. Amen. Amen. So I mentioned sharing in love because we're going to be looking at love and God's love. But first of all, let's see. Oh, morning to Amy and Summer and Ethan and Louise and Marion, you're on. Lovely to see you all. Uh, yeah, that's excellent. Oh, Adele and Amber. I'm glad I moved my, um, my, my, my cursor because I, I haven't seen that. So Amber and Adele, well done. Excellent. Good. Those are the messages coming through. I know there are others that will be on that I won't see if you're not messaging, but that's fine. It's great to welcome you all on. In fact, Oh, and Ken, Ken Green, I know that you are on, so um, Ken, it's lovely to see you as well. Anyway, I'm sure there, there are others and we'll all join together, whatever. But I mentioned God's love because in the Gospel reading today, we uh, were looking in John's Gospel, chapter 15, um, and Jesus is talking to his, to his disciples, and he says, I loved you as the Father loved me. Now remain in my love. Later on, he says, this is my command. Love each other as I have loved you. Of course, Jesus died for us. So he, he loved ultimate. He gave everything in his love for us. He talks more about what it means to be in, in God's chosen child. And at the end again, then the Father will give you anything you ask for in my name. This is my command. Love each other. So I thought let's talk about love this morning and God's love and how we can express that love. And I'm, I'm seeing that uh, Alexander, sorry Alexander, I missed you didn't I? Alexander, it's great to see you as well. Thank you very much for my personal message there. It's lovely, thank you. So thinking about what we can do when we, when we love others. Um, now, as I said, Jesus, he, he died on the cross for us. And it does actually say in this same passage, um, the greatest love a person can show is to die for his friends, which is an absolutely amazing thought, isn't it? So we could love each other that much. One way we can love each other, of course, is in the way that we pray for each other. And so I'm going to tie in a little bit with something that um, we're, we're pushing this year, which is called Thy Kingdom Come. Now, between Ascension Day and Pentecost, which are two festivals, Ascension Day is the day that the church remembers that Jesus ascended to heaven. Pentecost is when we remember that the Holy Spirit fell on the church and uh, on the world. Um, it's a 10 day period when we are encouraged to pray for others, pray for others that we know, pray for people in our street who we just feel need to know God a bit better. Um, things like that. So we're going to tie in some of that thy kingdom come thinking along with um, uh, uh, how we can pray for each other. And just before, we, while I remember, I did see um, a folk from Messy Church this morning, Christine, and she was letting me know that if you wanted a, a bag to help you, um, a bag of activities to explore all of that thy kingdom come and, um, and Pentecost, then there are some messy church bags that will be available on Thursday between noon and two o'clock outside the church. If you wanted to collect one or your adult wanted to collect one, then please do come along and, and collect one of those between noon and two o'clock on Thursday, this Thursday, which is actually Ascension Day. So, um, oh, I see we've got Lindsay on. Good morning, Lindsay. Lovely to see you. Um, we're getting, getting a nice crowd in, which is lovely. So we're talking about what we can use and help to show love. And we're thinking about prayer. 
Now, if we come down, you will have noticed earlier on, I was thinking about what helps us to pray. Well, obviously a reminder of God's love for us on the cross. Sometimes we use a candle as that the remembering that Jesus as, as light of the world, a focal point for us to think about Jesus, to think about God and his love. I, I often use these to help me think about people as I pray because it reminds me of God's presence and that there's nothing I can do except to pray for them, pray for people, pray for situations and pray that God will intervene, that God will help. So let's explore another way we can maybe do this. So I'm just going to delicately move those to the side so hopefully we can see this card. Now what we're going to do is do praying hands. So we're going to have something which will, so I've got a, a piece of card there, you could use paper, whatever you've got, and we're going to have a pair of praying hands which will close together in prayer. So, so, so we'll have hands that will close, so we'll cut out a piece of paper that will look like that and they'll close. So what I'm going to do is be quite cheeky. I'm using the fold of the card so I don't have to cut out two, bit, two hands and um, stick them together and this is where you see the odd shape of my hand here but I'm going to go around my hand with my pencil here oh and there's going to be a couple of odd bits there but anyway I will carry on and I'll cut roughly a shape that I think should be there probably rather than the actual shape I'm cutting so I've got a hand there so I'm going to cut round that you, and I'm going to cut through both sides all at once. Now I'm not going to leave just a thin bit, I'm going to cut from about there so there's a bit of the thicker bit in which I can um, fold the card and then go. So you're being careful Ken not to cut along the fold aren't you? Just That's right so we want the fold so that we can have our praying hands folded together and hopefully I will show you this when I've done it. Um, now I'm going to speed up a bit so it won't be as well cut out as you could do. I know you could cut out brilliantly. I've seen some of your work in the past, different people there. Yes, I suppose uh, we didn't get a chance to do here's one I made earlier. Well, I, I did have one but I thought it wouldn't show exactly how it was that um, I, I had done it. I had a paper version and I thought this was brighter because I don't use white paper so I wanted to to do this. Now as part of Thy Kingdom Come, one of the thoughts in it is that you can pray for five different people over those ten days. So you could, while I'm cutting out, be thinking of five different people you wanted to pray for specifically um, during those ten days, or it might be you could be thinking of a particular prayer that you thought would be really good to use. Okay, so I have the remnants of my card. And now I have my hands, which hopefully I will open up and the fold is still there. And you can see that um, you, you can see, um, yeah, you've got the fold so you can fold them together to become praying hands. So it'd be like my hands praying almost the same size, which they should be, shouldn't they? So what can we put inside? Well, why not? I, I think, in, in my mind, I was thinking we could put um, five different people there, or you, or you could put a prayer or whatever. On this side, why not put a symbol of, of love? So I was thinking maybe I could, do, um, I could do a cross. I could do a cross, so I'm going to use brown for the wooden cross. So, and doing this upside down, so this will be very rough um, and ready, and that's not as big as I hoped it would be. I stopped too early to do the first bit, but anyway, here we go. Uh, there we are. So we've got a cross. That's a sign of God's love for us. Jesus dying on the cross for us. Of course, one of the symbols we have of love is the heart. So maybe we could do a big heart across the cross, nice little artistic heart there maybe, as a sign of love as well. Now you can do whatever you like um, as a symbol of love. And on this side, like I say, you could always, now this is going to be the interesting one, I wonder if I can do this, you could do your one, 
your oh no I can't I I was going to be fancy and try and do it upside down and I realized my two was not going to work so you could have five different names so you could write in names of people that you could um, pray for uh, or if you wanted you could put those lower down and maybe write a separate prayer at the top um, what could we say dear God um, please be with these people today. Amen. So that's a very simple prayer I've written there. You might want to put the Lord's Prayer in, because that would help you to remember the Lord's Prayer, and have the names of people beneath. It's up to you. It's one of these that would be great, because you can decorate it any way you like. And of course, you could always give it a little title of your praying hands or those that you love and pray for this week, whatever it may be. But I thought it'd just be something that would encourage you to pray and help you to think about prayer in the same way that sometimes using a candle or a cross can help us to pray as well. That would have been not funny if the... Um, now, of course, I wouldn't recommend that you put a piece of paper near a candle um, at home um, but I'm just doing that for the picture at the moment and knowing that we have enough candle there at the moment it's not going to burn down in the next couple of minutes so I think we're safe and uh, yes that's not looking too bad on the screen at the moment so let's remember that God commands us um, this is my command, says Jesus, love each other. Love each other as I have loved you, which is a big thing to remember. And yet that is what God asks us to do, commands us to do. Sometimes it can be hard, but with God's love, with God's help, he helps us love others. I know for myself, there's been situations where it's been really hard. And I thought, oh, how, how can I continue loving these people? But actually God gives you the heart, gives us the love for one another. It's not something we can do for ourselves, it's something we need to ask God for help as well. So shall we, as we come to the end of our time, shall we indeed put our hands together and pray, and then we can imagine our praying hands. Dear God, thank you that you call us to love one another. Thank you that we can pray for one another, and we can do other acts of kindness to show your love. And we pray this week, as we, um, as on Thursday, on Ascension Day, we remember your, right, your, your ascending to heaven, that we remember to, to pray for our friends, these five people that we have um, got in our hearts to pray for, and other situations that, might, that we need to be praying for. And so bless us this week. Give us your love and give us your, your compassion that we can see um, other people and this world through your eyes and know your huge love for each one of us now and always amen amen so that is always an amazing thing uh, it's something i often pray is that i would be able to see how god sees this world because that would change hugely um how how it is that um that i would look at the world i'm sure if I looked at how God saw the world and how knowing that, that he loves us that much, it, it would uh, certainly really, really uh, change, change my perspective on the way I see the world. Anyway, I'm just leaving a little scene here that hopefully will look okay as you come down. God bless you. Have a great week. And I look forward to uh, seeing you next week. Um, can't believe it's almost mid-May, but it is. And uh, see you soon. God bless. Bye for now.